Hi guys, this is Ifra Movanis and today we are going to show you how to sculpt a simple man fondant figure. So as usual, we are taking 60 grams of fondant, in this case it's brown color. Now before we get started, I would like to point out that there are two kinds of fondant figures that we can make. The one on the left is a cartoon-like simple fondant figure which we're going to make today and the one on the right is a realistic fondant figure that was sculpted by the photo to fondant tutorial and we will talk about this option at the end of this tutorial and now let's get started we need our fondant very well pull all the creases and lines behind our fondant ball roll it in between your hands into a head shape which resembles an egg it's narrow on one side and wider on the other. Give it a little pinch at the chin area and smooth the fondant as much as you can. We need a smooth surface to work on. Okay, I'm giving a little pinch to create the chin and we can start sculpting the face. We are starting with the nose and for that we're going to mark where our eyes are going to be. With the Dresden tool we're creating two indentations for the eyes, approximately in the middle of the head. I'm taking a small piece of the fondant. I'm rolling it in between my fingers into a teardrop shape and attaching it in between the eye area. Now with the Dresden tool, attach it to the fondant with stroking motions. Just stroke the fondant on the sides to attach it to the head. Now using your fingers, shape a nose. Now using the pointy side of the Dresden tool, the veining tool, create two nostrils, just push inside the nose and pull out the side. Next we're going to make the mouth, so using an exacto knife cut out a slit in between the nose and the chin and using the rounded knife just spread the slit a little bit spread it open you can do this without the rounded knife you can use the veining tool instead and our figure is smiling so we're going to open up the mouth a little bit push two small holes in the corners of the mouth And here I'm using a silicone tool, but again you can use the veining tool. Just give the mouth a little bit of a shaping. Just draw two small lines. Next, we are making the eyes, so to cut two slits in the eye indentations we made earlier. And again, using the veining tool, open the slits slightly and create an almond shape hole.
don't make them too deep it's supposed to be only two to three millimeters deep Now we're ready to insert the white parts, so take two small pieces of white fondant, shape them into a small teardrop and insert them into the eye hole we just made. If you accidentally take too much or too little, just take it out gently and put more or less. It doesn't supposed to stick out, it's supposed to be the same level as the head. Repeat with the second eye. As you can see here, I, I took too little of white fondant, so I took it out added a little bit more white fondant and inserted it again. Insert a white fondant into the mouth as well. Our, fi our figure is smiling, so this part is for the teeth. And we are ready for the hair and the makeup. So I'm using brown food coloring to draw the eyes. Just draw two brown circles for the iris and two black circles inside for the pupil. and draw a thin line, thin black line on the upper lid to create lashes and to outline the eye. We're not, made, we're not painting the lashes as little strokes because it's going to look like a cartoon. We're just making an, a line and it, will, and it will be enough. Using black food coloring, I'm drawing the eyebrows.
In this case, I'm not painting the lips because I want to leave it as natural as I can. Because in some cases, if you put red color or pink color on the lips, it will make it it will make it look very cartoonish, and I don't want that. Now for the ears, take two small pieces of brown fondant, roll them in between your hands into an oval, squish them between your fingers and attach them at the side of the head. For the hair, take a small piece of black fondant and carefully attach it on the top of the head and using your fingers, spread it down and by that you're going to create a look that you have a, li a little bit hair near the ears and on the side of the head and much more hair on the top as it usually is. And now using the rounded knife, give the hair some pattern just by lightly tapping on the fondant. By that you're creating lines and ridges on the fondant and that gives you the feeling of hair. And the, by doing this as well, you're attaching the fondant to the head. And here we are, we're done. So this was the first and simple option and for the second option and I'm really excited to talk about it because this is the best seller at Tovanis.com this is the premium tutorial on making a portrait out of fondant okay this is a product that changed the birthday cake and celebration cake entirely and just imagine seeing your loved one face when he sees himself on a cake you can make your child you can make your husband you can make a celebrity you can make your child's head on a superhero's body. The possibilities are endless and this is a truly, truly amazing product. And now for the surprise. We have a special coupon only for our YouTube subscribers. 10% off on all the tutorials on our website and the sculpting tools. So all you need to do to receive this coupon code is to write this code in our website at checkout and you are all set. So thank you for watching this tutorial. All the details are in the description box down below and at ovanis.com. If you want to watch more tutorials about fondant figures and you guys like us have a passion for cake fondant decoration, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This was Eve from Ovanis. See you in the next videos. Stay sweet.